Bury Malta for the EPL season 17. She has the Grand Slam once again on the line. Maybe this time. Ready? Yeah. It's always nice to have a nice environment when you're traveling. Uh, I prefer sunny days over winter any day of uh, the week. Traveling to warm places for me is always nice. Um, I've grown up and lived in a very uh, cold environment. Definitely enjoying myself here uh, more than where I live. Going from Katowice to this event, we've had, I think, four weeks total uh, actual practice time. We just focus on our mistakes from Katowice, and I think lately we've been playing a way better cohesive style of Counter-Strike and building chemistry again in a good way. Hey, Harvey, how do you feel about the new jerseys? Uh, new jersey is nice, uh, nice new design. White didn't really fit us that good. Uh, so I'm happy we're back in the black design again and uh, hopefully bring some more trophies with us. The new jersey looks great. It's clean. Back to the dark, darker version of the jersey. We had some rough times with the white one, so um, I think the future is bright. One more, one more. Come on. I would say like every time we are at the tournament, the atmosphere is, is really good. We have a really good chemistry in the team. We're really good friends, everyone. Um, of course, it can be tough sometimes at home. Uh, during online practice, it's always a bit uh, more tough. Uh, but when we get to, to a tournament, to a land, we, we always feel uh, happy with each other. It's only against me. <laughs> I feel. They have to pass through it. You're yeah. getting sweaty. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> You're getting sweaty. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. I feel super sweaty. <laughs> I'm sweating. getting nervous. I'm <laughs> sweating a lot. Oh, shit, I'm gonna be wet. A lot of people around you. There's a lot of people. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> you look really red. Where are you? Robert. Is he okay? Nah, I think I'm gonna pass out soon. <laughs> 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 You hit me, I do. You hit me too hard. Okay, well, 20, 20, 20. No, no, you don't do fucking hard. Not do, I don't do it. What the fuck are you, what the fuck? Ah. No, no, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, what the fuck? Uh, nipple twister. Fuck uh. <laughs> 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 I think we have a super nice team and I think uh, we have been working really hard. Uh, we had a really good start of uh, last year and that set us in perfect position to win a Grand Slam. I think we are thinking of it in a way more serious way, you know, because we're running out of opportunities and I think it's like a wake up call that, you know, we have to get our shit together or else we're going to be running out of chances soon. Ready? Yeah. Who's catching? Max? Okay. It's time to shine. Fear the cock. That's a hashtag. Yeah, that sounds banging. Are you jealous? Yeah, I am. I wish that was our hashtag. Boys, first game of the tournament. But we have to fucking Ugh. focus from the start, boys, okay? It doesn't matter if we're playing against Russia. We have to fucking wait, focus. Wait, no. wait. wait. <laughs> Get fucked. Yeah. Seriously, okay, boys? Let's be fucking focused from the beginning of this game. And there's a few more things. Remember what we talked about the Catwich boys. To play for each other and fucking trust each other, okay? We start, we start doing this now, the first game. Yeah, and we continue it. doing for match by match, we're gonna be better and better. If there's anything you wanna add? Yes. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's go. let's go. Let's go, let's go. That's against the roofs. <laughs> <laughs> Summer stayed on three. Uh, no, I mean, uh, yeah. only again on three. Oh my god! Let's go, boys. Very distracted by Twist's right hair. But he is delivering oh. the headshots on the server, and this is ASAP. Has a lot to do. Gets a second 1v1, but Baroki will deliver the kill. So, Restore, they seem to be sending it straight into the A bomb side. They're going straight towards top mid. Baroki falling back into the pit, looking for more 1v1s and delivering. High pressure, and Baroki is here. Twist delivering oh. on Netic, and ASAP's up on the balcony. And that 4v4 is so favorable for a T side. Minute 20 on the clock as. Netic is caught in the open. He's got a long way to go, but he's got to go for it. Not meant to be. Twist closes at 16 7. So, in our prelude group, our first game was against Rooster. You know, it's always weird when you play a team and you look at their original TV page and they just have no photos. Uh, completely unknown. I mean, they wouldn't be considered maybe even top three in the Australian scene. It's just nice to see that more teams are getting into the game and it's more a uh, com competitive space, you know. We are fucking Rocket League champions. We are Call of Duty champions. Oh, sick. We are Battlefield 2 heroes. <laughs> what else? 
Dota. Red Men the Conquer Heroes. PUBG. Play everything. Okay, we're fucking multi gamers. Overwatch Heroes. Overwatch Heroes. Uh, no, not, not here. But PUBG. Players, okay. Grand Masters. <laughs> <laughs> let's make sure that when someone does something good, let's tell it to him so we boost each other, okay? Let's remember to fucking boost each other and play good for that? each other. Just a little happening. bit. It's gonna happen. Fuck you. It's why gonna set. Why, why are you bringing that up? Okay, you say something. Smart ass. Good job, Robert. That was good. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> really good. Okay, let's fucking go, boys. Let's have a good game. Let's fuck. Let's take Sweden back. Uno, dos, tres. For Malmo, okay? Uno, dos, tres. Sigma! Berkey, he's been gushed on down. The Hetrix looking to chase on through, but here's Twist with a dual for Raditz. Berkey goes down after getting one. Robs has arrived, but Twist is tapping away the bomb out in the open, and it's just Alexi B for half a second. Nice opener, convincing shot to find Hedrick. Doesn't know it yet. Seems to have the read. I think Brokey's really pieced this one together. He is wanting to fight for this 1v2, and Hedrick tapped out immediately. Oh. Rain with one hell of a round. Phase in fighting for with a grand slam on the line. That's their aim, Rez. Good aim himself, but no more than one. It's phase 16 to three. They don't even give him any comeback. <laughs> I think the post-match after NIP was just, you know, positive vibes because um, it's pretty tough nowadays, you know, to get convincing wins like that um, where you win by more than like 10 rounds. I think that's really good for the whole team and it boosts, you know, our morale in, in general that everyone knows that, you know, we can, we can still be the number one team and just beat everyone like that. Oh! Oh! How was the podcast? So I had like five beers. Yeah, I had three waters. Why didn't you drink beer, bro? <laughs> five beers, they're both the guys. And the sponsor. I think all of us in, in the team are extremely hungry and excited to win the Grand Slam. As we're nearing the end, we're even trying harder than you know ever before. Like we're giving it our all. We're grinding a lot, we're playing a lot, we're having fun a lot. So yeah, I think the dynamics that we have outside the game and the dynamics in the game is, is super awesome and, and that just knows that the guy next to you wants to win as bad as you and want to do everything and you trust him to, to deliver in the, in the hardship moments. I don't want to play from here. Come on, walk where you can stand. I want to play from here. Can, can you reach? Yeah, I have my mouse and keyboard on my legs. <laughs> just <want it>. <laughs> <laughs> You know there's like those people at sports games that uh, walk around with like, the fucking box of snacks on there like I, I actually want to play. It's still gonna be. I actually want to play. Boom. <laughs> you don't even have to move here. He'll be here at first every but time. Good morning. <laughs> What's up? When it's starting, he's gonna be like, Whoa. I'll draw a gamble. Let's go get him. Let's look at him after that, he's already preparing. He's saying, Kappa today. Eight, two, three, Kappa! Vitality, but zaiwoo has got the oh. smoke. Jax has been picked off, and low HP for Majiska. Swing will not be a miss. It's Brokey with two more. Capable as ever in the clutch, but he is finished off immediately. Try to put it to work now in the ramp play. Robs in the corner. They line up for him and oh. Robs destroys Vitality. Back in main, tucked in. Oh, <laughs> but he takes an extra second lining it up. If he avoids oh. Robs, he can drop this bomb and oh, buy enough seconds. Man. They're not going to drop Ven. They're going for the kill. He finds Robs and now Jax, the stand in, about to stand up and take down phase oh, two and zero. I mean, uh, the game against Vitality, Anubis, we're starting off really, really good. We played good Counter-Strike, really good. Uh, everyone uh, hit their shots and it, we had a good, really, really good feeling. But you know, Counter-Strike, it's, uh, it's never over until it's over, right? So uh, this is just a proof of what can happen if you're not 100% focused and if you're doing some mistakes, that's gonna cost, cost you a lot. I think the group stage went all right for us. We take our second seeding in our in our group and I uh, think it uh, gave us a lot of stuff to, to work on after that series and stuff to improve and uh, you know, maybe the loss was a, a blessing in disguise.
So we got our bracket draw, and I think all the brackets are pretty fair. I don't really care who we play. We have to win every team to win the Grand Slam, so we are just whoever we play, we play. I saw a joke about the bracket. All the teams in our matches, they start with the letter F. We have Furia, Fnatic, FaZe, and Force. <laughs> I actually didn't think in my career, professional uh, career, that I would play a new Counter-Strike game. Dude, it's so crazy. Where were you when you saw the update? In the elevator. In the elevator. <laughs> I, I was thinking <laughs> shit when I heard about the update. Really? They were fucking going crazy in the room. I still can't believe it. So good. Am I, it's like, am I alive right now? Yeah, yeah. Am I alive? What are you thinking about CS2, man? Can't wait to play it, man. It's gonna be crazy. Can't wait to see them shiny, shiny skins, you know? XQC is trying to get in the test. No chance, bro. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. He can get in. No, I told Anya we're not going on vacation. If we go vacation, we go summer house and I bring my PC. <laughs> so I can be in sun for three hours in a day, but I'm game all night. <laughs> I'm bringing my gaming laptop to Cyprus for sure. What are your first feelings? Excited. Excited, hyped. You're coming back as a player? For sure, easy. It's the time to hop on the grind, man. <laughs> Were you in Seattle? I don't know. I'm thinking. That I, I'm thinking we're gonna scream for the Count Strike. That's it. Sure. Oh. Let's go. Which one, Beta? No, on the Count Strike. One point six. On the Count Strike. Condition zero. On the Count Strike. Sure. Let's go. Let's fucking go. What is going? What is that? No. What is he doing? Something new. Okay, one, two, three. Go three. Let's go, boy. Okay, Serato, there's so much nade damage as well. There is a ring in and the bodies are dropping. Nothing left. Face with only one. There's at least one. Yeah, nade's not going to find him. Now identifies them both. Yep, one on one. And it's up against Dart. Yes, he can. <laughs> Paragon. Oh, no, though. Twist is still waiting oh, in the wings. He's really going oh, for it. God. He's going to hit that headshot as well. Literally one bullet in the mag. It was just like, yeah, I'll just I'll rack him. Waiting to do something all gracious. Hello. Broke with the first one to art. There's the trade back. The twist, he pops up out of the vent. And he ends the game right then, right there. I mean, the, the match day against Furia, one hour before we played, I think Counter-Strike 2 got released. Um, it was pretty special feeling in the practice room and going into the game. Everyone were extremely happy and excited to, to see the news about the Counter-Strike 2. It was very hard to actually focus uh, on the game the, the hour before, but I think it actually made us play a bit better. Uh, everyone was really happy. Even though something went wrong, I think everyone was just in a very, very good mood. And I think that's very important for this team to, to have good mood overall. I think that helps us to play much better Counter-Strike. So I was very happy about the news and uh, hopefully the news can, can carry us a bit longer. I think the pressure uh, went bigger and bigger over time. Uh, obviously, not winning the free trophies. We had opportunities to Rio, Pro League, and um, Katowice, and managed not to win any of them or not even get close. So obviously, the pressure builds on each tournament. No one's now only three chances, now only two chances, you know. So. And that one should be cooked, should be. Oh my God, Rops has got one HP, but he, this. yeah, I'm still. But there's no time for this. There's no health, there's no hope. Oh, oh come baby. on. Don't you dare. Rops. Oh, oh it's a kit. He is not real. That's, that is, it's supposed to be impossible. He needs to hit that what? shot though. Jerry gets the entry, oh. two for one. Twist, can he stop the plant? Yes, oh. he can. Four massive kills okay. from Twist. Okay. And there's not time for the plant. FaZe win it off the back of one. Man. Up on his back. He's had to save the last oh. two rounds, but now he's over it. And Molly keeps him boxed in on a bit of a weird angle. Feels uncomfortable here as they drop oh. in. Oh, oh. Brokey! Oh. Oh. And makes it look easy! I think the coach of Fours is trying to will them across the line. Oh. And that's Robs. Secures it. So you can see it's just business as usual. That's phase. Obviously, after Cologne uh, last year, we went through a lot of hard times, I would say, like rebuilding the confidence up in our team, rebuilding chemistry, finding new ways to approach CS. And, you know, everyone, I think, worked their hardest. Finn put a lot of effort into it. I know Robin has stepped up massively. And I think everyone came together and realized, you know, it's not going to happen unless we all push, like, above 100%. Ancient. Pretty ancient. All right. Take, I would take City, no? Yeah. Not a bad vertical. Or are they having cojones? 
I don't think. Kahanas. Ancient? Nuke? Ancient. Mirage. Listen to Grandmaster Robert now, okay? Yeah. Boys, let's fucking uh, play fucking good chance, right? We have played really good here. Let's fucking just ride the fucking momentum, boys. Okay, remember to be calm and we got the shit. Let's play some fucking good chance. Good match for us, okay? Yeah. Good really match for us. Really good. I love when you smile to me, right? Yeah. <laughs> let's go, boys. Let's fucking destroy these guys now, okay? Counter strike on three. We waffle. What are we waffling? What are we waffling? What are we waffling? Are we waffling? Counter strike on three. One, two, three. Counter strike! Let's go, boys. Should have an opportunity for a couple here. Good timing, good angle, oh. better spray, a double kill from Perfecto. Gets nothing, nothing. 15 seconds, still hanging around the temple. It's a team flash. Been spotted. No, now, oh. what a shot onto Rops. And it's all over on Ancient. Oh, this is a boost, cool. never seen before. Yeah, and it does get the oh, this double. Is Shady. This is Shady, this is Shady, he does know. He doesn't know, it's Rops gets the oh. That for the finish phase, walking it across the line. Here we go, for sure. 100 aim. And that's brutal. Rain puts the 50 caliber bullet and has escaped the clear. Oh, Rain, give me another one, please. It's gorgeous from Rain. Immediately sent straight back to hell. Spotted out, wide swing. Electronic delivers the first, but there's immediate trade from Brokey on the AWP. He'll up for the rifle. It's only NPL. Up against three, twist nails it, and FaZe took a ticket to the grand finals. Live from Malta, and now will be quick to exit the server after that one. We played really good Counter Strike, except for the first first half of uh, on the match. And it feels good to be in the final. One step, one more step to 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 lift the trophy. So when we made this team, uh, when I first rejoined FaZe, obviously the team were not as good as we wanted it to be. Um, so we slowly build up the team and, and just being able to handpick players like Twist and Robs and them coming to face, even though we didn't have the best results, uh, just showcase that they believe in the, the, in the team and, and how we play. I'm super happy that the, the guys trust me and, and believe and, and just trust the process. The pressure is on to perform. Last night before this final, three or four of us stayed up to 5 a.m. preparing for C9 just after winning our semifinal against Navi. And that's not something that happened before and that just shows that we're definitely on the right track and I feel, I feel like our hunger is there more than ever. No boys. Let's fucking trust in each other, okay? Let's trust in Finn's calls. If someone has some information, we trust the information and they yes, go sir. for it. Yes, okay? Yes, sir. It's your time to be promoted to general, all of you, okay? Yes, You're privates now, but it's time to try, okay? Yes, sir. <laughs> so, no, we play so fucking good. Let's play fucking. Go for moves, boys. Don't be afraid of anything and let's fucking go. It's gonna be a long day. If mistakes happen, it happens. Fuck it. Doesn't matter. No fucking blaming, no fucking negativity. It's full positive all the fucking day, boys. Let's finish this shit now, okay? So, yes, sir. Jump strike on three. Then finish it. Finish it. <laughs> We can talk about that. <laughs> sure. It's it's sure. <laughs> Approved. <laughs> this grand final left up in the clutch. Is he ready for the DP down the stairs? Oh. He is. Decapitates the first man. Oh. And he lives. Shots are missing with each shot that sails past them. They're getting no closer. Way. There's one. The USP dinks. It's down to this. 20 seconds. Oh. Oh. The round is done. And they can win it to time now. Oh, Napoli up bro. through short, trying to get in, but locked out. And so FaZe. Yeah, hop it up close. This needs to be his moment. Oh, wow. collects them both. Just He's behind back. the smoke, behind the side. Cloud9 moved through. He saw something. There's the orb picked off. Oh, Rain out of ammo. Back to the pistol. It's up to his teammate. Also on a side on. No escaping the chase. Time will not be his friend here. And Hobbit waiting up in the top of mid. Looks to send a message that Cloud9 are here to play. He is a 1v1 on Hobbit. He's getting backstabbed, but Axile's got to move quickly. And so Rain has the advantage. 10 seconds. Hobbit taps the bomb. Experience shining through. And Rain. Closes it out in style. A three on five. Shiro deals with Carrigan. Axile traded. No way. Twists with a double. 
Shaw Rops falls out of the round, but Twist is still a threat out behind the big box. Another on the tally. Twist is on a mission. Four out of five. Bates the shot. Nafani's oh. moving in. But it's Twist. And now it's just Buster and Hobbit left up in this one, but they can't find a thing. FaZe Clan doing it for. They pick up the trophy and it just all starts to break down. They realize they've done it. Elation, that trepidation, that anxiety, that all subsides because tonight they are champions. Over a year, 392 days since FaZe lifted the trophy back at Katowice. They take a cologne, two grueling seasons of Pro League, a major to boot, and the Intel Grand Slam with a million dollars on the line. What an unbelievable series, and what a valiant opponent. Cloud9 take them almost all the way, but it's FaZe Clan who will be celebrating tonight. FaZe Clan, the champions of ESL Pro League Season 17, and the winners of the Intel Grand Slam! After nine months without a trophy, uh, last one was Cologne being here and beating all the teams, Navi and Cloud9 then in the final, means the world to me. I mean, again, we're doing more history than, than last time we won the major, now we won a Grand Slam and we can talk about being one of the best teams uh, in the world soon. In a top 10 all-time team, I think we, we have played so great uh, if you look at the last one and a half years. Yeah, for me to, to win it a second time is cementing a unique spot for me in the history of, of the game uh, as we know it. Obviously, with Source 2 being announced, I'm the only player in, in CSGO to have uh, achieved this now. I felt like I needed to use it as motivation, as extra pressure to, to go beyond my limits as a player. And yeah, I'm happy that that is exactly what has happened. Uh, the people closest to me know how much I sacrifice uh, for the game, how much time I put into it. I don't see my family, and, uh, and yeah, CS is my life, and you know, this is what I play for.